Most grocery stores carry a wide variety of products. However, there are some items that you might not be able to find on the shelves in the coming months. Grocery stores are a staple in our daily lives, providing us with the food and household items we need to sustain ourselves and our families. Depending on recession and economic downfall around the globe, it seems like hard times are coming. You are watching Economy Central. Let's talk about 11 items you might not find soon in your local grocery store. Chickpeas. According to tasteofhome.com, hummus lovers take note. We may see a decrease in the availability of chickpeas in the near future. The Russian invasion of Ukraine has led to a drop in production in both countries, which are major global suppliers of chickpeas. Additionally, U.S. farmers have been growing other crops instead of chickpeas, further reducing the domestic supply. Compounding the issue, the ongoing COVID pandemic has disrupted supply chains, making it even more difficult to obtain these ingredients. This means you may need to look for alternative beans to use in your hummus recipe. Sugar Sugar shortages are likely to occur in the near future due to a number of factors. First, sugar production has not been able to keep up with global demand. Global sugar production has been stagnant many times, while consumption has been steadily increasing. This has led to a supply-demand imbalance in the market, causing prices to rise and shortages to occur. Second, climate change has impacted sugar production. Warmer temperatures, extreme weather and droughts have caused crop yields to decline and reduced the availability of raw materials for sugar production. Third, biofuels production has increased demand for sugar as a feedstock for ethanol production, further reducing supply for human consumption. Paper goods Toilet paper has been in short supply for the last two years, and the situation has been exacerbated by the Russian invasion of Ukraine, which has affected pulp supplies from Europe. This could lead to shortages of toilet paper or higher prices. Other paper products like paper towels and tissues may also be affected. As the global population continues to rise, the demand for paper goods has also increased significantly. Additionally, paper goods are often made with tree pulp, so deforestation can reduce the amount available for production. Furthermore, unsustainable logging practices can also reduce the supply of wood for paper production. Climate change can impact crop yields, which can make it difficult to produce enough paper goods to meet the growing demand. Canned goods The aluminum shortage that manufacturers faced in 2020 and 2021 continues to be an issue, as people continue to stock up on canned goods. The shortage has persisted throughout the pandemic and is likely to continue, leading to reduced supplies of products like tomato paste, canned vegetables, and soda, eggs, and meat. In spring of 2021, the chicken shortage led to fast food chains reducing their chicken offerings. The shortage later extended to grocery stores in the fall. According to a survey by Business Insider, almost half of Americans reported seeing shortages of meat and eggs in early 2022. It may be necessary to switch to vegetarian meals without eggs for a while to address this food shortage. Unfortunately, the demand for these products is expected to outstrip supply in the near future. This is mainly due to a number of factors, including growing global population. The population is growing rapidly, and with it, the demand for food. Eggs and meat are among the most popular types of food, and their production needs to increase to meet this rising demand. Climate change Climate change is already having a negative impact on global food production, leading to shortages in some areas. As the climate continues to change, it is likely that these issues will become more severe on eggs and meat too. Animal diseases Animal diseases can have a serious impact on egg and meat production, leading to shortages. Governments around the world need to hold regulations and plannings to increase production of both eggs and meat. Bread, pasta, and cereals According to Euronews.com, currently, the search for new suppliers has caused prices to rise, and the cost of wheat has reached record highs. Over 50 countries rely on Russia and Ukraine for their wheat, and this staple makes up about a fifth of the world's calories and proteins. The countries in North America that import the most wheat from this region, including Nigeria, which is one of the world's poorest nations, are facing the most severe impact of the crisis. These countries were already financially weakened by the pandemic, and they're now struggling to cope with the effects of the conflict. 
Also, the global pandemic has disrupted the entire food supply chain, resulting in a decrease in production and availability of these products. Additionally, the demand for these foods has increased significantly as people are stocking up on staples in case of a prolonged lockdown. This has led to a shortage of these items in the market. Furthermore, the rise in the price of flour has made it difficult for manufacturers to produce these items at an affordable price. Wheat It is unlikely that you will be able to find wheat at your local grocery store in the near future. Wheat is a staple crop that is widely grown and consumed around the world. While there may be fluctuations in the supply and demand of wheat due to factors such as weather conditions, changes in consumer preferences, or global trade policies, it is highly unlikely that wheat will disappear from grocery store shelves. According to Bloomberg, the Russian invasion of Ukraine has disrupted the global supply chain for wheat, as Ukraine is one of the main suppliers of this important crop. In addition, India's recent ban on wheat exports has contributed to concerns about a potential shortage and rising prices for this staple food. These events highlight the importance of stable and secure global supply chains for ensuring the availability of essential food items. Meat According to eatthis.com, the meat industry is facing a range of supply chain issues, including labor shortages due to Omicron illnesses, a lack of truck drivers, and shortages of packaging materials like plastic, paper, and aluminum. Additionally, farmers are being forced to slaughter parts of their herds due to shortages of antibiotics and feed materials. The effects of these challenges include lower availability and higher prices for meat. Some beef cuts, like boneless chuck roast, have seen prices increase by 25% as a result of the pandemic. Meat is one of the biggest contributors to inflation caused by the pandemic. One way that governments can address the problem of food shortages is by implementing policies that promote domestic food production and reduce reliance on imports. This could involve providing support to farmers, such as subsidies and access to equipment, to help them increase their output. Governments can also invest in infrastructure, such as roads and storage facilities, to improve the efficiency of the food supply chain. In addition, governments can work with international organizations to secure food supplies from other countries and ensure that food is distributed fairly and equitably to those in need. That's all for this video. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please let us know your thoughts on this topic in the comments section below. Have a great day or night wherever you are in the world right now. And we'll be back soon with another great video.